What's up, guys? This is Daria from Hill Kaiju, and I'm here with my co-host, Spotted Menace, and we just got done watching Game Night. Game on. This is your Kaiju Cinematic Destruction. Game Night is directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein and stars Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams and is about a group of friends who usually have a weekly game night but are somehow embroiled in a murder mystery. Now, honestly, this is not what I was expecting when I go, went into this. So when, okay, so when we went to watch Game Night, what was your expectations of the movie? I, first of all, I expected something um, like the usual raunchy movie fodder you know the kind of movies that i'm talking about the ones that 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 usually star uh will ferrell and are like a lot of cursing a lot of a lot of uh nasty so, like, dirty glory, gabs uh what's that movie where he was ice skating glory days no no or... no, no 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 not 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 like blades of glory but some something more like like step uh step brothers okay i was okay. expecting something more like step brothers and okay. i got something closer to date night if you if you can remember that, I believe it was uh, Tina Fey and uh, what's his name? Will Ferrell. Not Will no, Ferrell. Not I'm Will sorry, Ferrell. Uh, Steve Carell. Uh, yeah, Steve Carell. Yeah, uh, Steve Carell and Tina Fey, which it was more like a sleeper hit. Like I I, I liked I liked Date Night and uh, Game Night is kind of in the same kind of vein where the comedy was sort of muted and reserved compared to like the more raunchier comedies that I was speaking about, uh, like, like the Will Ferrell fodder or like, there's something about Mary where there's a lot of, a lot of, as I said, a lot of raunchiness, but th that's not what happened. And okay. I, I'm actually kind of surprised at what I got. Uh, the movie in and of itself turned out to be something that was much more, that was much more enjoyable than, uh, I was expecting when I went into it. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually enjoyed game night. And, you know, I kind of had that, that same expectation, thinking I was going to get those same raunchy um, comedies, but that's not what I got. I actually got something very pleasant. The comedy or the jokes were in the right spot. They were on time. Um, it was a not so, so fast pace, but it kept up with a pretty good pace. Um, they didn't jumble a lot of jokes like some of these sleeper comedies like to do like girls night out they just kind of jumble the jokes all together so it's like okay it's beginning to be too much this was not game night game night everything was where it was supposed to be and it was actually kind of spaced out kind of spaced out which made the movie pleasant enjoyable uh, okay so so I, I gotta cut my sister off because she has been harrying me for the past two weeks to come see game night we, we went down to Atlanta to go see Black Panther. And every time we saw any of those trailers, she's like, we got to go see Game Night. We got to go see Game Night. And uh, it's one of those things where I didn't want to see this movie. I really did. I was not looking forward to this. I was not looking forward to this review. But it wasn't that told. bad. And it wasn't that bad. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the camera work is what I found to be a lot more more fun and interesting than, than a lot of the comedy. The comedy was sort of... The movie and the comedy in and of itself was a little bit paint by numbers. Like the jokes you can kind of see coming. They weren't anything that was surprising or overly, uh, overly taxing. But what I liked was a lot of the shots. Like for instance, you would have a few, uh, shots, uh, pulled out to where you get to see suburbia and they tilt shifted a lot of the footage to make it look like the houses and the cars were like little tinker toys. And they did that throughout the, the whole movie in certain spots to the point where it, it became sort of a, a, a thematic thing where it sort of felt like, you know, they were, they were trying to, uh, to create a message with the way that they were doing those shots. And even a few of the chase scenes, there are a few chase scenes, even a few chase scenes where they, uh, focus on the, on the, the rear of the car made a lot of, a lot of sense. And it felt mm -hmm. really like really well done. Yeah. It felt really well done. That's what surprised me the most about this movie. Yeah. It was uh, well shot. It was. I mean, the whole movie was well shot. Like, the camera work was, I think it was something different. 
And it was actually kind of fr- refreshing in a way. Yeah, like th- that's what scenes, it was. It was you, refreshing. Yeah, like the scenes you were describing, it was exactly that. And so it was kind of like, oh, wow. Okay, I like that. That's different. Okay. So that's kind of what Game Night gave you. Now, Jason Bateman, for me, he's he's the kind of guy that kind of sits in the background in a lot of the other movies. Uh, he's a straight man in a lot of them. And in this one, he kind of plays that. And he plays that a lot. And he actually kind of reprises a lot of his roles to the point where it's like, okay, you're the guy who is easily flustered, who is not in on the joke or in on in on what's actually going on in the scene at each and every point in time. And it's kind of the same thing with this, but for some reason, I didn't feel like what he was doing was in any way boring. And that's, that's a strange thing. Cause usually, usually you kind of get tired of him playing that same kind of trope, that same kind of character each and in each and every time in the movies. But this one, it kind of worked because he had more than just that one person playing him as the foil. He had like the whole cast treating him in that, in that respect. And it, it, it made it a little bit more refreshing as a result. I understand what you're saying, and I see where you're coming from with that. But I, you know, Jason, I love Jason Bateman. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I'm going to be a little bit more biased about it because I I like him. Like, and I just think he plays his role, and that's what he did in Game Night. He played his role. It was kind of like Identity Thief and how he played that flustered role, and he plays the flustered role again. And yeah, you're absolutely right. It kind of gives him a, re- a break or becomes more refreshing of, him as a character because yeah then the whole cast in game night play the exact same role so it's kind of like oh wow okay we have a lot to play with we have a lot of dialogue going on here and it's not just jason bateman it's bateman mcadams uh peretti everybody oh yeah yeah uh we got we got a real quick uh we got a real quick uh cameo with with uh Uh, chelsea Chelsea Peretti. peretti yeah and she of course plays all her roles now everybody in the cast did a great job yeah i I love the cast but there was a there was somebody who who really managed to steal every scene that he was in and that was uh jesse peemans who played uh gary the next door neighbor uh throughout this whole movie uh they they really worked that in well to the point where everybody else like it's your usual group of and gaggle of friends that you kind of expect in these kind of movies and without his presence uh to really kind of break up that 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 uh, yeah I agree the, the feeling of normalcy around yeah. these group of people without him there it it wouldn't have worked out nearly as no, well it, you no know, you're right it kind of would have dropped a little bit but with his character and his standout character yeah he was one of my favorite characters yeah, he's as well. definitely a standout and yes. they placed him in the most genius spot so you were just like what the hell <laughs> definitely definitely but it was. It was done well. It was done well. It was done nicely. And like I said, the comedy wasn't, it was in spaces that it needed to be. And it wasn't overcrowding you. Now, now the problem with that is that some of the jokes struggle to land. And that kind of makes some scenes drag. That's the only problem that I have with, with this, uh, that, and it felt a little bit long, uh, to the point where it just kind of drags even more. It clocks in uh, right around an hour and 40 minutes, and it almost feels like it was limping towards the finish, towards the end. It it really wrapped things up, but again, it just never really did it in such a way that kept me compelled and kept me uh, attached to the film. Really, it was I was almost to the point where I was kind of like, I kind of wish I had a watch. I don't wear watches. I kind of wish I had my watch, and I was like, okay, are we getting towards the end? Because the climax needs to happen. I don't agree. I liked I liked how the ending went, and I like how it, I was I was still brought in the whole time, from beginning to end. I was brought in, and I liked it. And I yeah, some parts were lagging, but it didn't really bother me that they were lagging. It really didn't, and I guess that's because. Right at as the purse was starting to lag, something else happened that it picked it right back up. So to me, it didn't bother me as much that certain scenes were lagging. But no, I I thought the ending kept me going from beginning to end of the movie. I was I was in there and I enjoyed it and I liked it. Honestly, I say that this is more your kind of movie than it is my kind it, of movie. It, it, it more so is. But honestly, I I would have to say that the people who were there on screen at each and every point in time they 
real likable enough because you, you run the risk yeah. of a lot of these characters in these kind of movies being completely irredeemable and unlikable yeah. like movies like bad moms or, or horrible bosses or yeah. something like that where every single character on the screen you're just like i don't want to spend time with you i don't want yeah. i don't want to look at you i don't want to see you succeed in whatever that you're in whatever you're you doing just don't care. but in yeah. this one everybody had a purpose not just a purpose but everybody had some kind of quality yeah to them and yeah. for that i i can see why you're not why you're not as bad as the lag as i am because yeah it was it was a struggle for me in certain spots where it's like okay i i know the jokes that are coming i see the jokes that are yeah. coming these are easy these are these are by the numbers and i'm waiting for something to hit and sometimes it hits and when it hits i laughed i laughed throughout certain portions of this movie and I, I did so heartily. Like, none of them was, like, pity laughs or just, like, a short chuckle. This was, like, a hearty, raucous... Genuine laugh. Genuine yeah. laugh. Yeah. But in other portions, it's like, okay, I see the joke coming. And I didn't laugh as a result. But it didn't offend me. And that's what it is. It didn't offend me. It didn't bore me. This movie was good, but not great. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I could, I can see that. I can see that. But like you said, this is more of my type of movie. So to me, I have a different feeling about it. Yeah. Which I, I generally would because you generally don't watch these type of movies. I mean, like, it's not like I don't like them. I know I, you I don't really, like really... them, but you would watch them at home versus us going to the cinema yeah, this, to this, see this, them. This, this is definitely something yeah. that I would rather see on like HBO yeah. or or on Stars or, yeah, we or just like catch, a, it. catch yeah. it on DVD. Yeah. But like having to brave through, okay, we had to brave through not only the crowd to go see this movie, but we had to brave through the crowds coming to still see Black, Black Panther. Because Black and Panther is God. still selling out. It, mm. It's it's still selling out. It's still making money. It's still we are a week in and like we struggled to find a parking spot. We had to wait in, in a long line just to pick up our pre order tickets. Yeah. Then we had to wait in line to get the concession. And all of that kind of and we still managed to get in there just in time for the for the opening credits, and I was surprised to see that. Yeah. Um, but everything about this was good. It was it was good. It wasn't great. It was it was good. I I didn't hate the experience. I'm I'm a massive introvert, and I don't like going around in big crowds. And I didn't hate this. I didn't hate that we went yeah. out and saw it. I would have much rather seen it at home with my own bucket of popcorn instead of having to pay the the outrageous prices at the concessions. But it was still. It was still, it was still good. I, um, I actually would give this movie four stars. No, I, I refuse. How are you going to give Black Panther give four, four stars, stars and then yeah. give this four stars? I, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I really enjoyed wow. it. Wow. Yeah. I would have to give it four stars. You would give it four I, stars. I would give it four stars. I would Jesus. go see it again. Wow, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to ask you about how you manage. I I don't know to give this four stars. But I give it four stars. It's just my opinion. I give it four stars. But then again, I also like the people in the movie. So it, I mean, it's the same as Black Panther. I enjoyed the movie. I like the people in the movie. It just kept me going. Wow. So I four stars. Four stars. Wow. And you, prude sir, would give it what? Wow, I uh wow. I'm I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm incredibly shocked. I gave Black Panther 5 stars because yes. I felt it was nearly perfect, if not completely yeah. and totally perfect. Yeah. And I I I needed to disseminate like I actually had to sit down and try to try to get my thoughts together for that. This one again was just okay. It was good but not great. Okay. So I I can't give it anything more than just 3 stars. Okay. Four? Yeah. Four. I'm sticking to that. So dude. so you are like, hey, if if you want to go see a movie, I'm gonna either recommend Black Panther or Game, or game Night. Night. Yes. And I am completely I'm I'm okay with going game night 50-50 over Black Panther. That's what you're basically saying with that well, rating. Okay. Wow. I enjoyed it. My goodness. That's my opinion. I enjoyed it. So um Send all of your your angry what the hell mail to P.O. Box. Dee Dee, what the hell are you thinking? Why? When it's my opinion. 
That's just strictly my opinion as far as what I think about the movie. <laughs> and that was my opinion. I'm, you know what? I'll, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. I'm just wondering, like, how can you be like, it's on the same level? I, I, that, I, I like I said, like, again, I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the movie from start hey, to finish. Hey, you know it what? was one of my type of movies. Hey, yeah. You know what? Just shake my hand. You, you if gave you it. If you can't see Black Panther, it, go see Game Night. Because you Black gave Panther it four. You gave it out. four car- You gave yeah. it four stars. You gave Black Panther four stars. Yeah. I, I, I give it three. Okay. I give it three. That's that's our rating. That's fair. And honestly, I, I stick by it. She sticks by it. Yeah. Whatever. Any, any, any parting words, please. Uh no. No parting words, unfortunately. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You are so helpful given, I given this four stars. I know. Four. Yeah. I don't know four. why it's bothering you. I'm just surprised. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't bother anybody else. I'm surprised. Because like we walked out the theater, but, you said three. And now no, I'm said, I said four. No, you said three. Mm. I said four. I never said three. Anyway, said this, this has been your Kaiju Cinematic Destruction. We'll catch y'all later. Deuces. <laughs>